Welcome to Bob's Intriguing Facts. We're about to embark on a journey into the mysteries of the Space Shuttle. Buckle up! Imagine a spaceship that could carry seven astronauts of cargo and was reusable for up to 100 missions. NASA had this, but they stopped using it. Why? The Space Shuttle, a marvel of human ingenuity, was conceived in the late 70s. It was an ambitious project, a dream that dared to defy the boundaries of what was thought possible. The shuttle was unlike any other spacecraft of its time. It was not just a vehicle for exploration, but a symbol of human potential and our insatiable curiosity for the unknown. The shuttle was a pioneering spacecraft, designed to be more than a one-time use vehicle. It was built to be reusable, capable of multiple flights into space. This was a significant departure from previous spacecraft, which were used only once and then discarded. The shuttle's reusability was a testament to its design, a design that sought to make space travel more economical, efficient and sustainable. The shuttle was not just a vehicle, but a mobile laboratory capable of conducting scientific experiments in space. It was also a cargo craft capable of carrying large payloads into space. This included satellites, parts for the International Space Station and even the Hubble Space Telescope. The shuttle made it possible to bring these large and complex payloads into space, helping to advance our understanding of the universe. The space shuttle was not just a spacecraft, it was a symbol of human achievement. It represented our desire to reach beyond our planet, to explore the unknown and to push the boundaries of our capabilities. It was a testament to our ambition, our and our resilience. The shuttle had many successes, including 135 missions, over 500 astronauts carried into space, and countless scientific discoveries. These achievements were not without their challenges, but they highlighted the potential of the Space Shuttle and what it represented. The Space Shuttle was an engineering marvel, a symbol of human ambition, but was it too ambitious? Was the dream of a reusable spacecraft a step too far, a leap into the unknown that we were not ready for? These are the questions we will explore as we delve deeper into the story of the Space Shuttle. Space, the final frontier, but it's also an unforgiving environment and the Space Shuttle had its share of tragedies. The Space Shuttle program, a beacon of human achievement and ingenuity, bore a dark underbelly. Two events stand out in particular, the Challenger and Columbia disasters. These were not mere accidents, but devastating tragedies that brought to light the inherent dangers of space exploration. Let's delve into the Challenger disaster first. It was a cold January morning in 1986 when the Space Shuttle Challenger lifted off. Seven brave souls were on board, ready to push the boundaries of human knowledge. Yet 73 seconds into the flight, the world watched in horror as Challenger exploded mid-air. The culprit? A faulty O-ring seal on the right solid rocket booster. This seemingly insignificant component, impaired by the unusually cold conditions, led to the loss of seven lives and a nation's heartbreak. The second disaster to rock the Space Shuttle program was the Columbia disaster in 2003. Columbia had successfully completed its mission and was re-entering the Earth's atmosphere when tragedy struck. A piece of insulating foam dislodged during launch had struck the left wing of the spacecraft. Unbeknownst to the crew, the damage was significant. As Columbia re-entered the atmosphere, the intense heat penetrated the damaged wing, leading to the disintegration of the spacecraft. All seven astronauts on board perished. These disasters were more than just accidents. They were human tragedies. The astronauts aboard Challenger and Columbia were sons, daughters, husbands, wives, mothers and fathers. They were individuals who dared to dream, who dared to venture into the unknown for the betterment of humanity. Their loss was felt deeply not only by their families, but also by a nation and a world that admired their courage and shared their dreams. The impact of these disasters was profound on the Space Shuttle program. They raised serious questions about the safety of the shuttle. Investigations ensued, finding damning evidence of institutional and engineering failures. The Challenger disaster led to a two and a half year hiatus in shuttle flights and a complete overhaul of the shuttle's booster rocket design. The Columbia disaster, occurring some 17 years later, led to another suspension of shuttle flights and eventually 
the decision to phase out the space shuttle program altogether. These catastrophic incidents put the safety of the space shuttle into question. Could it be that the very design of the shuttle was flawed? The tragedies of Challenger and Columbia forced us to confront the stark reality of space exploration. It reminded us that space, while a frontier of unlimited potential, is an environment of unforgiving harshness. It underscored the need for constant vigilance, rigorous checks, and a willingness to learn from our mistakes. As we gaze at the stars and dream of future explorations, let's also remember and honor those who have paid the ultimate price in this grand human endeavor. Innovation often comes at a cost, and the space shuttle was no different. A financial titan, the shuttle program was both a marvel of human ingenuity and a strain on NASA's budget. The shuttle program was a significant investment with the cost of construction, maintenance and launches reaching into the billions. The first orbiter enterprise cost a staggering $10 billion and that was just the beginning. Following enterprise, four more orbiters were built, each with a price tag of around $1.7 billion. These figures do not even consider the cost of maintenance, upgrades and the immense expenditure involved in each launch. Now let's put these numbers into perspective. The Mars rover missions, which have provided invaluable data about our neighboring planet, had a total cost of approximately $2.5 billion. That's less than the cost of a single shuttle orbiter. The Hubble Space Telescope, another significant contribution to our understanding of the cosmos, came in at a similar price. However, the cost of the shuttle program wasn't just about the dollars and cents. It was also about the time, effort and human lives invested in the project. The Challenger and Columbia disasters were stark reminders of the risks involved in space exploration and they came at a tremendous human cost. But the Space Shuttle program wasn't just about expenditure. It was also about the benefits it brought. The shuttle enabled the construction of the International Space Station a global collaboration that has advanced our understanding of space and life in zero gravity. It facilitated numerous scientific experiments and launched countless satellites, contributing to our knowledge of the universe. So when we ask if the shuttle was worth it, we're not just talking about money, we're talking about the leaps and bounds in scientific knowledge, the international cooperation, the inspiration it provided to a generation of space enthusiasts. The Space Shuttle program was a financial behemoth, but were the benefits worth the cost? We'll leave that for you to decide. But one thing is for sure, the Shuttle left an indelible mark on the history of space exploration. Despite its successes and the breakthroughs it enabled, the Space Shuttle program came to an end. But why? Let's dive into the reasons, exploring the safety concerns, costs and political factors that played a significant role in this decision and highlight the lack of a clear successor at the time of the shuttle's retirement. The Space Shuttle program was undoubtedly a significant achievement in human space exploration. However, it was not without its risks. Two catastrophic accidents, Challenger and Columbia, resulted in the loss of 14 brave astronauts' lives. These tragedies brought the safety of the shuttle into sharp relief. The Challenger disaster in 1986 was caused by a failure in the solid rocket booster seals, while the Columbia accident in 2003 resulted from damage to the shuttle's thermal protection system. These incidents exposed the inherent risks associated with the shuttle's complex design and operation. As a result, safety concerns became a primary reason for the decision to end the shuttle program. Cost also played a significant role in the decision to retire the shuttle. Initially, the shuttle program was touted as a cost-effective way to access space with promises of frequent routine launches. However, the reality was far from this vision. The cost of maintaining and operating the shuttles ballooned over the years, with the program's total cost estimated at over $200 billion. Each individual shuttle launch cost about half a billion dollars. The high costs, coupled with the shuttle's safety issues, led to questions about the program's sustainability. Political factors were also at play in the decision to conclude the shuttle program. The direction of NASA and its funding is largely determined by the priorities of the US government. 
The Bush administration in particular made the decision in 2004 to retire the shuttle by 2010 to redirect resources towards the development of a new spacecraft, Orion, and a return to the moon. However, at the time of the shuttle's retirement in 2011, there was no clear successor ready to take up the mantle of human spaceflight. The Orion spacecraft was still years away from being ready, and commercial spaceflight was in its nascent stages. This gap left the United States dependent on Russian Soyuz spacecraft for access to the International Space Station for nearly a decade. The end of the Space Shuttle program marked the end of an era in space exploration. But was it the right decision? This question is not easy to answer. The Space Shuttle program was a symbol of human ingenuity and ambition, and its end was met with mixed feelings. However, the decision to retire the shuttle was ultimately driven by a complex mix of safety concerns, costs and political considerations. The Space Shuttle has left an indelible mark on the history of space exploration, but what is its legacy? The legacy of the Space Shuttle is multifaceted and far-reaching. Its impact extends beyond just the realm of space exploration and has permeated various aspects of our lives. Firstly, the Shuttle has contributed significantly to the design of future spacecraft. Its unique design, with its reusable orbiter and solid rocket boosters, has influenced the development of spacecraft that followed. The lessons learned from the Shuttle have informed the strategies for long-term space travel and elements of its design are evident in today's space vehicles. Just as importantly, the shuttle played a crucial role in fostering international cooperation in space. It was the shuttle, after all, that carried components of the International Space Station into orbit, facilitating a global partnership in space exploration. This spirit of collaboration initiated by the shuttle continues to guide international space efforts today. But perhaps the most profound legacy of the Space Shuttle is its role in inspiring a new generation of space enthusiasts. For millions around the world, the Shuttle was a symbol of human potential, a testament to our ability to reach beyond our own planet. Its missions captivated the public imagination, sparking a passion for space exploration in countless individuals. The Shuttle's impact extends to the realm of education as well. Its missions have been incorporated into school curriculums, shaping the minds of young learners and inspiring them to dream big. The shuttle has played a pivotal role in creating the space scientists, engineers and astronauts of today and tomorrow. Furthermore, the space shuttle's influence can be seen in the surge of private space companies. The end of the shuttle program marked the beginning of a new era in space travel, one where private entities like SpaceX and Blue Origin are leading the charge. These companies, inspired by the achievements of the shuttle, are shaping the future of space exploration. The space shuttle, a symbol of human ambition and ingenuity, may no longer take to the skies, but its legacy endures. With the retirement of the Space Shuttle, the future of manned space exploration was uncertain. But now a new era is upon us, an era marked by the rise of private space companies, brimming with ambition, innovation, and a drive to explore the cosmos. These new players in the game of space exploration are not just following in the footsteps of the Space Shuttle program. No, they are building upon its legacy, taking the lessons learned, the triumphs and the tragedies, and using them to forge a new path into the great unknown. Take SpaceX, for instance. Founded by Elon Musk, this private space company has already made its mark in the annals of space exploration. With the successful launch and landing of the Falcon Heavy, the most powerful operational rocket in the world, SpaceX has shown that it's not just about getting to space, it's about doing it efficiently, cost-effectively, and with a view to sustainability. And then there's Blue Origin, the brainchild of Amazon founder Jeff Bezos. With its new Shepard suborbital vehicle, Blue Origin aims to make space tourism a reality, offering civilians the chance to experience the thrill of space travel. Blue Origin's motto, Gradate in Ferocita, which translates to step-by-step step ferociously, encapsulates their approach to space exploration. Across the pond, we have Virgin Galactic, Richard Branson's venture into the final frontier. 
With its Spaceship 2, Virgin Galactic plans to offer suborbital space flights to space tourists, while also conducting scientific research. These private companies are not just about making space accessible to ordinary people, they're also about pushing the boundaries of what's possible. SpaceX's Starship, currently under development, aims to be a fully reusable spacecraft, capable of carrying up to 100 people to the Moon, Mars and beyond. Beyond these private ventures, national space agencies are also forging ahead. NASA's Artemis program aims to return humans to the moon by 2024, and the European Space Agency's Aurora program foresees a human mission to Mars in the foreseeable future. All of these endeavors are building on the legacy of the Space Shuttle, taking the baton from where the shuttle left off and running with it into the future. They are taking the dreams, the hopes, the aspirations that were carried in the belly of the space shuttle and giving them wings to soar higher, further and faster. The space shuttle may be a relic of the past, but it paved the way for the future. It showed us that we, as a species, are capable of reaching beyond our planet, beyond our solar system and into the cosmos. The space shuttle gave us the tools, the knowledge and the courage to venture into space. And now, we stand on the brink of a new era in space exploration. A future where space is not just the domain of astronauts and scientists, but of pioneers, explorers and dreamers. And that future is only just beginning. As we reach the end of our journey into the mysteries of the Space Shuttle, we hope you've enjoyed this exploration as much as we have. The legacy of the Space Shuttle lives on in the hearts of those who dare to dream. Those who look up at the stars and see not just points of light, but destinations, adventures and untold possibilities. The Space Shuttle taught us that the sky is not the limit, but just the beginning. It showed us that we, as a species, have the capacity for greatness, for bravery, for exploration. It's a legacy that continues to inspire, to motivate and to drive us forward into the great unknown. From SpaceX to Blue Origin, from Virgin Galactic to NASA and ESA, the spirit of the Space Shuttle lives on, propelling us into a future of unbounded potential. So, as we bid farewell to the Space Shuttle, we also say hello to a new era of space exploration. An era of pioneers, explorers, dreamers, an era of stepping beyond our world and reaching for the stars. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to Bob's Intriguing Facts, and share this video with your friends. Your support helps us bring more intriguing facts your way. Thank you for watching. Until next time, keep exploring and remember, the sky is not the limit, it's just the beginning.